ओके सो अभी ना लेट स्टार्ट यूर थर्मोडाइनिक स्नैप माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू यू व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस व्हाट आर द मेजर डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन हीट एंड वर्क सर हीट इज ए लो गेट एनर्जी वी कैन नॉट कन्वर्ट इट कंप्लीटली इनटू वर्क बट वर्क इज ए हाई गेट एनर्जी वी कैन कंप्लीटली कन्वर्ट इट इनटू हीट दैट इज द ओनली डिफरेंस व्हाई वी कैन नॉट कन्वर्ट हीट आल्सो सर वर्क इज वर्क इज सेड टू बी डन uh if the sole effect on the things external to the system can be reduced uh, in raising a weight uh, but the heat transfer will be a type of uh, heat will transfer only because of the uh, temperature difference abna what is tmm2 so it is a perpetual motion machine of second kind which violates the second law of thermodynamics so can you define what is that uh, what kind of machine is it, it, it is Uh, according to uh, first law a uh, second law of thermodynamics the kelvin planck statement will tells that uh, we cannot uh, convert uh, heat completely into work but according to perpetual motion machine of second kind if we give some heat input to a machine then we can completely convert it into work that means if we calculate the efficiency of that engine then it will comes to be one uh, it is an ideal uh, ideal machine which cannot be possible in uh, real life हाँ 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 सो अच्छा व्हेन वी कन्वर्ट हीट इनटू वर्क व्हाट काइंड ऑफ लॉसेस टेक्स प्लेस इफ वी कन्वर्ट आ हीट इनटू वर्क्स एंड आ देयर विल बी आ ड्यू टू एंट्रोपी देयर विल बी सम इरिवर्सिबिलिटी देन आ देयर विल बी सम लॉसेस लाइक द लॉसेस ड्यू टू हीट ट्रांसफर ऑफ फाइनाइट टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस व्हाट आर द रीजन बिहाइंड इरिवर्सिबिलि� you mentioned about irreversibility very good but uh, uh, yes. give me some idea in brief what actually cause irreversibility so when the heat is uh, transferred from uh, heat heat is transferred then there will be irreversibility because of the entropy generation because uh, the entropy will be uh, due to the temperature difference there will be some entropy will be generated and because of oh, it is also the kind of effect na entropy generation loss of work irreversibility Uh, yes uh, yes sir you know that in the question i am asking you what actually cause irreversibility the irreversibility you... is due to uh, due to the lack of equilibrium or due to uh, the heat dissipation due to lack of equilibrium like the heat transfer of finite temperature difference and due to difference mm-hmm. in pressure there will be irreversibility and in heat dissipation like uh, due to friction and due to uh, electric quark and all there will be also uh, irreversibility good so can you draw the you know the phase change diagram for water on uh, pv diagram uh, yes sir i can i i'll try mm-hmm. go ahead They will be look like that. So this is PV or TS or what? So this is the TV diagram. TV temperature volume. Temperature volume, yes, sir. Uh huh. So what different reasons you have shown in this? Yes, sir. The difference region is like uh, there will be this line will be called as uh, this line will be of saturated liquid, and this mm-hmm. line will be saturated vapor, and this will be the uh, sub cool region. This will be the wet region, and this will be the uh, super heated region. <laughs> okay. What is critical point, Abhinav? the critical point uh, sir uh, critical point is that point if we go above it then the all will be vapor that means uh, it is uh, it uh, if we define the critical temperature at that point then it is that temperature uh, ab- above which we cannot liquefy a vapor uh, no matter how much pressure we apply to it mm-hmm. so how much is the critical point for water 
क्रिटिकल पॉइंट हुआ था का टेंपरेचर इज फॉर क्रिटिकल टेंपरेचर इज 374 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड सर प्रेशर इज 221.2 बार हम्म अच्छा ऑन दैट डायग्राम हाउ यू कैन शो अ काइंड ऑफ ओपन कंटेनर बॉइलिंग फॉर एग्जांपल यू आर हैविंग ए वाटर इन सम कंटेनर ओके हां यस सर which is open to the atmosphere so how you will show that boiling process on this uh, tv diagram so so uh, so the boiling process like we can draw the tv diagram that i have drawn it earlier then we can uh, if you mention the difference region then we can able to uh, conclude from that that uh, what will be the uh, just, just take, uh, you, you can take the initial condition maybe sub cooled water okay yes sir and uh, then you can start the boiling process so you need to uh, show some process maybe from the initial state 1 to the final state 2 sir actually i am not sure about it can i try it ah yes yes try Sir, if we uh, sir, if the liquid is in water is in uh, subcool region, then uh, the uh, surrounding temperature will be if we taken it as at atmospheric temperature, then the graph will be like that. First, it will be converted into saturated liquid, then liquid plus vapor, then it will uh, transformed into the vapor, where the uh, temperature will be hundred degree centigrade. Yeah, we can say. Hmm. so the steam which will come out from the container it will be superheated steam or saturated steam a uh, superheated steam superheated steam yes sir uh okay okay i <clears throat> uh, what is compressibility factor abhi now so compressibility factor ha huh. so it is the reciprocal of bulk modulus it will actually tell us about uh, how much uh, it no listen again i am not asking you compressibility i am asking you about the compressibility factor uh, there is a difference between compressibility and compressibility factor uh, yes uh, sorry sir i i uh, am not able to recall it now theek <laughs> hai uh, so what are maxwell uh, uh, relations we uh, you know what are the use of those relationship so that uh, there are four thermodynamic potential we have and from that we can uh, we can uh, calculate the maxwell relations and this relation will gives about the relationship between temperature uh, uh, temperature entropy pressure and volume and there will be four maxwell relation what is throttling and where we use uh, throttling process the so, throttling is a irreversible process in which pressure will be uh, reduced and we use throttling process in uh, refrigeration system in the expansion valve hmm acha why actually uh, temperature drops when we carry out throttling of liquids Uh, the yeah, so, so this can be explained using Joule Thomson effect. So according to uh, Joule Thomson effect, the there will be if we uh, flow from high pressure to low pressure region, then there will be temperature drop, and we can make a conclusion of it using the Joule Thomson coefficient, which will be mu z t is equal to del t by uh, del p at constant enthalpy, and mm -hmm. if uh, <laughs> and if the if the process is uh, the uh, process is like heating then the joule thomson coefficient will be uh, negative we can make such kind of conclusion from there mm. what is vapor pressure and how the vapor pressure of a substance changes with the increase in its temperature so uh, vapor pressure is the total pressure exerted by the uh, vapors of a liquid 
if the temperature is increased, then the formation of vapor will be increased. So the vapor pressure will be increased. What is internal energy, Abhinav? So internal energy is the sum of all kinds of molecular energy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Achha, you know, uh, we generally say the internal energy of a ideal gas is a function of temperature only. So can you prove that? Can you show me how we can say that internal energy of an ideal gas is a function of temperature only? So because uh, if, if the process is constant volume process, then we make conclusion that internal energy will be equal to Cv delta T. So for an ideal gas, we can make con as the Cv will also depends on temperature. So we can make con and also there will be temperature term. Then we can make conclusion from that that uh, internal energy is a function of temperature only if we consider ideal gas. And in uh, thermodynamics analysis, we consider it as an ideal gas only. So we uh, consider the internal energy as a function of temperature. Abhinav, my last question is, what is availability? Sir, availability, availability is the maximum amount of work that we can extract from a system if the system will be in thermal equilibrium with the surrounding. Mm -hmm. What is that? What, what do you understand by thermal energy reservoir? Sir, uh, thermal energy reservoir is something if we add uh, heat to that or if we extract heat from that, then the temperature will does not change. Uh, so for which that means the thermal energy reservoir is the reservoir for which the heat capacity will be infinity. Chalo, abhi na, main aapko feedback de hon, uh, yes, sir. Okay. Deekho, overall, it's looking fine, good. Aapka understanding subject ka theek lag raha hai. But uh -huh. you need to further, you need to refine slightly and you need to, you know, add some more things in your answers. Overall, it's looking good. There is no issue. Okay. Yes, sir. But yes, you can, uh, you can further refine your knowledge because, you know, when you are answering, maybe some part, a very important part you are missing. Okay. So it is yes, good sir. to relate to those things. You are answering in one single line. So only one suggestion to you, Abhinav, interview is an opportunity to convince the interviewer that you are a very strong candidate. Okay. Yes, sir. Whatever things you can relate, whatever things you can highlight about that question, you need to highlight. Okay. So that means uh, if some topic, uh, if uh, some question will be asked from any topic, then what are the things I know about the topic and I will try to uh, explain all the stuff to yeah. the interviewer. At least try to relate. If they are allowing you for that, you need to uh, observe yes, that. Yes. If they are, you know, uh, the session is going like that very quickly. They are asking the question. Then obviously you need to answer in one line only. But if they are allowing you, they are giving you sufficient time. Then you need to explain. Okay, yeah, that is yeah, the only yeah. suggestion. Overall, otherwise it's good. Okay, your yeah. subject knowledge is looking good. You relate. You answered most of the question, so there is no issue. Your confidence, your delivery style is also looking fine. Uh, okay, sir.